So just like that, Ernie Merrick is gone. The Newcastle board have sacked Ernie Merrick as Newcastle manager. Welcome back to another Newcastle Jets review. Now, of course, I'm not doing a game today. And I should probably mention, uh, as I mentioned in my last career mode video, um, I, I just completely had a break, a month break-ish over Christmas and start of New Year. It wasn't a month, it was about two weeks. Um, but I think I'm well within my right to do that. So I missed a couple of Newcastle games. Um, a few, we got two wins in about eight games, something along those lines. I can't remember exactly, but we lost 4-0 to Melbourne Victory. 6-2 to Perth Glory. Um, our wins have come against Western United and the Western Sydney Wanderers. Apart from that, we've just been crap. There's nothing else to it. And from this recording date, today is the 9th of the 1st, which of course means tomorrow we play Sydney FC. That should be fun, shouldn't it? We lost 4-1 to them earlier in the season. Honestly, this has been shocking this season. Do I agree with Mer Ernie Merrick being sacked? Yes. Yes, I do. Ernie's done a lot of good things for this club. Last year was very poor. Uh, well, actually, some of the results were poor, but 7th place, I think, is about on par. But I think that that year where we made the final, we finished second, you know, that was his first year in charge, and he just really took us to the next step, didn't he? So, um, you know, I, we, we will not forget, of course, what Ernie's done. For the, for the club, which is, of course, take us higher. But it just hasn't worked out in the long term, so the decision to sack him has been made, and I think it is the right decision. Players out of position is Ernie's biggest problem. Now, I know, I get it. We have injuries to Arroyo and to Hulahan. Where's Hulahan? But we're playing Turgate up front. Angus Turgate, a CDM or a right back. Centre mid at best, yeah? Great player. Absolutely love Angus, yeah? But up front, he's out of his depth. He is not a good striker. He's not a striker. He came on twice this season and scored two goals. He came on more times, but he came on and scored two goals from sub appearances. He scored that winner against uh, Western United. <laughs> but regardless, you don't put him up front. You know, you don't see Mane going and playing striker for Liverpool. Yeah, it's as simple as that. That's that's really all you need to say about that. But you don't. You know, you never saw Frank Lampard going and playing striker for Chelsea. If Turgate is scoring goals from CDM, give him a start. Why not? But you play him at CDM, centre mid at best, because chances are, if he scored from there. Recently, he might score from there again instead of putting him in a completely new position that he's never played in before. What are you doing, Merrick? Mm. Again, I love Ernie. So much respect for this guy, man. He has done a lot for our team. But it's time to go. And again, it's it, these things are inevitable in football. And we have um, Craig for, for the next game. So I, I, I don't know if I'll talk about him too much, but this is about Merrick being sacked. I don't think we give Craig the job, by the way. I just, I just want to put that out there. Um, but Ernie's just had a poor season. He, we're rock bottom of the league. We haven't played as well as last year. And the thing is, we still can't put our chances away. That's the most frustrating part of being, about being a Newcastle fan, man. We cannot score. We physically cannot put the ball in the net. It's just it's just a no-no for us. I don't know why. I cannot explain why that is the thing that that is present in our club. I just I do not get it. And it hurts to watch Newcastle. And it has for this season, particularly this season. Um but ultimately I've I've already spoken about how I think it's the right decision to get rid of Merrick. But, but, 
the thing is, back onto Turgate, you don't put Turgate up front. I'm sorry, I know I already covered this. Put Hoffman there. Don't put Petratos there. He went there in the game against Victory. How did that go? 4 <laughs> 0! Better than the Perth Glory game, you know? And this time it was an away loss to Melbourne Victory, who have been absolutely shocking this year. And of course, Andrew in the boot scored against us. It wouldn't be a Newcastle game without a former player of ours scoring against us. Honestly, I wish we still had in the boot, man. I miss him so much. Come back to me, Andrew. Anyway, not Andrew Hall. You can stay in Central Coast with your massive ketchup bloody bottles. But well, This is a very short video, I know, but um, there's not really much to talk about, is there? I think we give Craig the next game. In the meantime, find a replacement manager ASAP, yeah, and yeah, just pick ourselves up from there. This season's over, there's no doubt about it. We will not be finishing top six. At least I highly doubt it. Uh, and I'm going to back whoever we bring in. I'm going to back Craig for the game, hopefully just the game, that he's here for. Yeah, because I'm a Newcastle supporter, so of course I am. But I just... I don't necessarily support what our club is doing right now. Our transfer business that we're aiming to do in this upcoming window that's uh, that's opening right now is shocking. We're hoping to loan in a reserves player from Broadmeadow Magic. Hopefully someone that comes in does just a, a bit better than what Ernie's done. Again, I love the guy, but it's time. And that's ultimately... That's just, that's just what happens. And it's a shame, because Ernie Merrick has one of the best characters I've ever seen. In, in the year, so we're always going to remember Ernie Merrick, but best of luck in the future, mate, uh, but yeah, it's time to go, <laughs> um, this season's been shocking, so new manager that comes in, don't put Turgate up front, put Hoffman up there, Petratos out on the right, um, okay, I guess he could get away with Turgate at Cam, and then out on the left... Or maybe Shepard in behind and then Turgate on the wing because he's got a bit of pace. Um, uh, that's a good question. We're a bit short due to injury. Um, I still think that having Joey Champness in the side would be very good. But he went off and um, started a rapping career. <laughs> uh, no, no disrespect, mate. His music is actually decent. So... Um, yeah, that's that, but Merrick's gone. That's the way it is. That's just that's just how it's going to go. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please like, please subscribe. Uh, you won't, so <laughs> don't bother and click off my channel right now. Um, Merrick's gone. Again, nothing else to say. That was just my really short and um, unwanted opinion on it. So, yeah, if you guys have any different opinions, let me know down below. But um, I'll see you guys in the next video. And, yeah, see you later.